In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for cobalt 2 nitrate, CO and O3, 2. Cobalt, that's a metal, and then nitrogen and oxygen, those are nonmetals. In fact, they're a group of nonmetals tightly bonded together in what we call a polyatomic ion. We have two of these NO3 ions, called the nitrate ion. So the metal in an ionic compound will transfer electrons to the nonmetals. So we'll write our cobalt, and then we'll put a nitrate, the NO3, on either side. We can look at the name for cobalt 2 nitrate, and we see this 2 here. That Roman numeral 2 means the cobalt has a charge of 2 plus. For the NO3, the nitrate, we can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, and we'll see that nitrate has a negative 1 charge. Let's put a negative out here. This means that the cobalt lost one electron to this nitrate, and because electrons are negative, we have this negative charge here, and the other one went here. That left the cobalt with a 2 plus charge. Let's replace these nitrate ions with Lewis structures, and then we'll put brackets around each of the nitrate ions. You'll also sometimes see brackets around the metal cation here in the center. So that makes this the Lewis structure for cobalt 2 nitrate. Understand, though, that this is what we call a formula unit. Cobalt 2 nitrate is normally a crystal, and it's made up of a bunch of repeating formula units. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CONO32 cobalt 2 nitrate, and thanks for watching.